Hi, Jeff Spira here, and today I want to talk to you about strakes, keels, and bottom strips. Um, I get an email every few days uh, saying something to the effect that builders of flat bottom boats want, um, want to find out if they need to give their boat strakes on the bottom to keep it from skidding or sliding in a turn. So, and if so, you know, how many strakes, you know, how long should they be and how should they be shaped? Well, the first thing you need to understand is that, you know, your skiff, Carolina door, your Pacific power door, the flat bottom kind of boats, um, does not need a strake in them to carve turns. Okay, once you're going faster than no wake speed, let's say, you know, four or five knots, uh, all of these boats carve turns just fine. They don't, uh, you know, skid or slide, you know. Here's a Caladesa Carolina Dory uh, moving along in the low 20 mile an hour range, I guess. Maybe a little faster, maybe mid-20s. And you can see how well it carves these turns. So they, they actually bank into the turn appropriately. And there's really no tendency to slip or skid. Let's take a look. Okay, now here's a, a Carolinian, which is the 18-foot version of a Carolina Dory. Um, and it, it's, this one has minimal power and the, and the owner doesn't, uh, is not a you know, speed demon by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, he's running along here in the low teens, see, I guess. And see how nicely it tracks uh, and how well it's carving, you know, the turn. Okay, well, the <clears throat> Pacific Power Dories, which is another, you know, uh, one of my designs, uh, carve turns even better, you know, without any strips along the bottom. So, um, so my answer really is no, you don't need strakes to keep, uh, to stop these boats from skidding in a turn. You know, they're just simply unnecessary. Um, the second point comes up. Uh, that was made popular by a boat builder and YouTuber uh, who builds Eastern style skiffs, kind of main skiffs. Um, and he says that you need keel strips to keep a skiff from diverting. And when he says diverting, he, he kind of implies that it comes from surfing down waves um, that are coming up to you from a stern. So like a following sea is what I, the way I would describe it. And uh, while this is true, because you can have a condition like that that will force the boat to turn abruptly, because what happens is the bow of the boat digs into the waves, and then the, um, the, the forward moving wave tends to move the, uh, the transom and the aft part of the boat sideways, so it will, um, it will divert, and that, that it'll it sh sharp make a sharp turn in that in that surfing condition so um, so a keel will stop this from happening you put a keel in the aft section of your boat a single one or double or, you know singles fine so um, if you're gonna if you're gonna land it on the beach or something like that you would you would probably not want to go with one single one you'd probably want to go with two or or more maybe four or six so 
Um, so if you have one of these kind of boats and you know you plan on coming in from the ocean with a, a pretty good following sea behind you, uh, it's common in the western U.S. Um, you know they, there's a lot of channel entrances that point due west and they get a lot of waves coming straight down so um, and you'll probably need a, a skid or a keel or strakes whatever whatever you you describe them that's fine uh, let me point out something very interesting though pacific power dories which this is their environment they 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 land on the beach um, in, in heavy surf, sometimes even breaking surf, and mostly breaking surf, but they come in with a heavy following sea, and uh, this happens all over the Pacific Northwest. They run the, they run the, um, the power doors up on the beach, and none of them have strakes on them. None of them. They don't have keels or strakes or anything. They just slide them straight onto the beach. They're f totally flat bottom. There's no. Um, there's no keel or any ridge down there at all. So they just uh, skid right onto the, the, the beach. So um, now the, 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 the bows are heavily upturned, though, if you notice. Um, there's a lot of rocker in the bow of the boat, but the aft part of the boat is fairly flat. So that you, you will never get a condition where you bury the bow. So when they surf down a wave, they surf down a wave, you know, without uh, without necessarily having issues uh, doing that. So, um, you know, they, they the skids on the boat will make them much harder to launch and recover out of the sand. So that's why none of them use them. And with the bow shaped the way it is, it, it's not necessary. So now if you're planning to use a Carolina dory in the ocean or, or build one of those eastern type skiffs, which I have in my catalog as well, this, this skiff, I call them skiffs, so I like Maine skiffs, um, to use in, in any of these conditions where you're coming in with a following sea, then, then, then a skid or a keel would be advisable. Um, I'd, I'd, I'd make it a single keel, put it as far aft as you can. But again, if you're going to be landing it on the beach, I, you know, <laughs> you just don't want to do that. Um, anyway, so there's one condition where strakes uh, uh, might might be advisable in many boats. Um, it's mostly working boats uh, where you have to have good control at ultra low speeds. You know, for instance, uh, shrimp skimmers, you know, who uh, navigate a towed net at two knots, you know, through sunken trees and patches of surface uh, plants and in the bayous for instance you know in the in, in, you know Louisiana and uh, and uh, you know uh, East Texas and, and you know Alabama and all that um, it, it it would make sense so uh, they put they put shallow strakes on there so um, and they put a number of them typically um, and it, it, it also may help you a bit in a crosswind when you're stopped to keep from moving sideways. It tends to turn the boat into the, uh, into the wind a little more. Um, if you're anchored or something, it'll keep your bow pointing into the wind better. So, or, or if it's in a, in a you know, if you, you're anchored in a river, for instance, you know, it'll keep the, uh, keep the boat pointed up, up river. So. Um, instead of skidding sideways. So. But for the vast majority of the people, they, they'll never see any need for a skid or strakes. So, um, then, like I said, the next question I always get is, well, how long, how wide, how many are right for this boat or that boat or whatever? The answer is, I, you know, I have no idea what's right for your conditions. So, do you expect to make sure landings? Sand, gravel, big rocks? You need to cross ultra shallow water, go over patches of plants or seaweeds. All of these things are things that take that, that you need to take into consideration when you do that. So expecting me to spit out some dimensions, you know, like well, three and a half inches tall, three quarter inches thick, six feet long, and put it as far aft as possible. Uh, you know, I just can't do that. I mean, that would be a, that would be an appropriate size, for instance, to on, on a skiff, you know, on a 19 foot or 18 foot skiff or something, but. Um, you know that you were that you were coming in, uh, you know, uh, you know, with with uh, following sea. So, but uh, but but 
if you if you tell me, well, I'm on Wachahoochee Bay and there's, you know, can be up to 20 mile an hour winds and it's open to the north and bay average is three feet deep, right? You know, I, I still can't make an appropriate suggestion. You have to know the water and and uh, and and understand what what problem you're trying to solve. If you're just wondering whether they should be on there or shouldn't be on there, they the right answer is that uh, they, they probably shouldn't be on there unless you determine that you need them. And then, then you can maybe discuss when you think you need it and, and we can come up with a solution if you want to send me an email and ask me a question then. But, but just, to, just for me to guess, uh, it, 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 it can't happen. I mean, it just it doesn't make sense for me to do that. So. Um, now, when you do put them on there, if you do put uh, skids on the bottom of the boat, you, you're going to want to put them over top of the glass. You don't want to glass over the skids or whatever. I mean, you can. You, you can put a layer of glass over them, but, but in general, what you want to do is have the hull fully complete and have it glassed over and then attach them to the uh, top of it. So, um, because if you think you need them, you probably will bang them up. <laughs> You know, because you'd be going over, you know, sunken logs or something that, and and you'll end up or, or gravelly beaches, you know, sharp gravel or whatever. Um, so, so, um, you know, you're gonna you're gonna end up screwing them up. So, so the best bet would be would would be to put them on outside of the glass, put them on with some some sort of caulking compound and run screws through the, the strakes into the into the framing, you know, through the through the planking and into the framing. So. Uh, then that way you can just pull the screws out and then peel them off, you know, and uh, and replace them when you do your regular hull maintenance. So that's that would be a, a smart approach, I think. So um, okay, well here's a here's an Albion. I'll put a picture up. This this boat uh, was used by a, uh, a, a shrimp skimmer in uh, in uh, you know Louisiana, East Texas, and and the Alabama coast and. Um, and he really liked the way these five full-length uh, strips worked on the bottom of his. Kept his draft very shallow so he could he could land it on a beach and use it for fun stuff as well as shrimping. But he but he also uh, you know would allow him to navigate around a, you know the crocs and you know, sunken logs and other things that he had to get through and the the lilies pond lilies that <laughs> that were that he had to he had to get over so. Anyway, um, well, that's my story on strakes. So for the bottom of flat bottom boats, you know, uh, in most cases you won't need them. But if you decide that you need them after you get you try the boat out, then uh, you can always uh, add them later. So I hope this helps with uh, that question. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and also stop by my website to take a look at the 120 or so different boat plans I have for sale. And they go from 7 feet, which is 2.1 meters, to 55 feet, which is 16.8 meters long in more than a dozen different styles. So stop by the website and then drop me a note if you like. And uh, uh, thank you for watching. And I look forward to speaking you, to you again soon. Thanks again.